let's look at what happens when you take something sort of to its extreme. An example, when we looked at mini batches, we saw that we could actually come to an extreme where we had mini batches of size one, and that is pure or true stochastic gradient descent, where you're just using an individual instance at a time. Here, what happens if we took k, let's say, all the way up to n? So if k goes to n, that means if n is 300, let's say, we are going to train 300 times. And each time, this is not going to be 60. This is going to be one instance. We have one instance that we use as a validation, and then we train on all n minus 1 remaining instances. So we train on 299, leave one out. Train on uh, leave a, set, a, a different one out, train on the remaining 299. Leave a different one out, remaining on the, train on the remaining 299, and so on. So this is called leave one out cross-validation. And this is abbreviated LOOKV. So this is the acronym you will commonly see. We don't use this all that often in neural networks just because this cost of training a network is so high. But if you've got a small amount of data, let's say you've got 100 samples, or 80 samples, or 50 samples, then it can just be costly to have a validation set any size larger than one. And so this is something to consider and always just keep in the back of your mind when you're dealing with small amounts of data.